Good evening everyone. I have my grocery haul for you. And the first thing is I had two boxes of fruit punch. There's only one of them left. That is this one over here. They were 79 cents each. I paid 158 together. And then the almond milk was one euro and nine cent. Then I had bread for 159. Um the leftover of my bread is in my freezer. Then I bought three bottles of carrot juice. They were 49 cents each, so 147 together. Then they had baked beans on sale. Baked beans are not cheap in Germany and they are not everywhere. So I already had them on sale. So it's these cans in the back. I had six cans, one I've already eaten. Uh, two ninety four together, 49 cents each. Then I had marzipan, which is gone, la 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 la. It was 3 euros and 80 cents, and actually it was absolutely not necessary, but I spent that money. <sighs> um, sauerkraut uh, is this thing. I have a problem here. So this is organic um, sauerkraut. Um, the problem I have is the smaller portions, the cheap stuff says it's wine sauerkraut and it, I just cannot find any information if that stuff is vegan or not if regular sauerkraut is but wine sauerkraut cannot be vegan due, not even vegetarian due to the fact that wine uh, very often most wine gets cleared with gelatin and that is so not vegetarian uh, so I have no idea um, also, I, I wanted to have some variety in there, so I'm going to add that to my 10-day emergency food supply boxes. And when the date is reached, I can eat it. That's great. Uh, that, was, that was 95 cents. Then the tofu, this one. I actually had to crouch down to see if they still had some uh, organic tofu, 155 also for that box. So I do not have to cool it as long as it's, the packet is closed. Apples. Uh, they only had bags of apples. They were 129 per kilogram. There was at a small store I got them today. I still have to try to open that bag and hope there are no holes in it. And then I can reuse it as a trash bag for the kitty litter. So that was 2.37 kilograms and I pay 3 euros and 6 cents. There was a bit more than I had expected, but they didn't have um, smaller bags. Uh, and that melon here, also from the same store, 1 euro. There was no one in there when I came. When I left, there was another customer coming, but um, they had, there was like 15-20 minutes before they closed the store. So, yeah. And after that, I went to DM, got these two things, the sauerkraut and the tofu. And I got, since the virus thing is still going on, I got another one of these for my hands to disinfect. But I also use this on, on surfaces like, like on my doorknobs. It's so much quicker. Um, I have this little spray bottle here, which had something that was in, expired in uh, 2018, in April 2018. It was a, a wound spray that helps to um, helps wounds to heal faster, which I often use for cat scratches and then I forgot that I have it and then it expired and I just cleaned it out, um, let it dry and then the next day I filled some of the um, Listen, guys, I, I forgot what it is in English. Someone someone told me recently. <laughs> I forgot. But yeah, um, I put some of that stuff in. And it's actually very handy to, to use it. And when you spray it on, purpo uh, on purposes, on surfaces, spray it on, let it dry. Then you can touch it. Do not, do not wipe it. That stuff needs to dry. Um, next thing, the pea milk. This stuff, you can see here there's a 50% off sticker on it. So I paid $1.49 each, uh, $2.98 together. They had three of them. 
they have their best before they eat like in a few days I think whoop yep on the 27th is the best before date i never tried that stuff i, I better this better tastes good uh, it has more calories than the um, plant milk that i usually have so this stuff does not last forever so i will have to go through it over the next few days uh yeah it also has more protein than other stuff so i hope this tastes good um Regular price is $2.99. That is very expensive. But it's relatively new on the market. Um, last year. At some point last year they they got it in um, the store where I got it from. Um, green beans. These these bigs. Big. These biggies here. Um, they had big, big boxes stacked on top of each other and had these beans in there and I thought okay I only have one can I can go through a whole can all at once because sometimes that happens and I got two more then I uh, they had mandarin oranges these four cans here on sale for 79 cents which is not cheap but I thought okay these are the perfect portion size I I take four cans that's that's enough I have like four or five cans left in here and actually the the lady at the register said only two cans per thing per uh, sort type whatever and so there was not uh, so the the baked beans were from Aldi and the other cans here the uh, they are from Kaufland and now they have restrictions, but I didn't see any um, signs that told about the restrictions, only two per person. So she, she gave me the four. I told her that I didn't see any signs. I have no idea where these signs are, if they have them at all. Uh, maybe they just started to put them out somewhere. I haven't seen any of them, actually. I'm pretty sure by Monday they have those signs out anywhere in the store. She said, canned items, only two per person. Um, the kidney beans, they finally had kidney beans again. 49 cents each. I, I thought, okay, now I take two. That's That should be okay. Uh, the grapes on sale for one seventy nine, And potato chips, 50% off. I paid 64 cents instead of one twenty nine, And the toast was 59 cents. Whole wheat toast. So... I paid 30 euros and 62 cents and that was too much and actually I paid even more than that because I got two chocolate bars from Ali and here's the thing my my beloved dark chocolate um, with hazelnuts from Ali has a dark green package and I saw oh there's one with the dark green cap package and you I could see the hazelnuts on top uh, on, on, on the front side and I grabbed two because they're very very delicious and when I came home and one day I, I opened it up I didn't see it when I came home I didn't see it when when it was at the register when I paid for it I did not see it but when I opened it up I saw that chocolate is not dark it's pretty light brown and I was like wait what's going on and I turned it around and I saw that it's the milk chocolate and not my dark chocolate why on earth they have pretty much the same design on top i don't know but i didn't i didn't look close enough i wasn't even really aware that there's another chocolate in green in this this specific shades of green uh with milk chocolate i think they should change that and give it a different color a much lighter green and make the other one much darker i don't care i just wanna Make sure I grab the right thing. Not everyone sees that on first glance that it's something different. So now I have to figure out who wants to have that chocolate. Either as an Easter present for someone or... I don't know. I can't even give it to my friend who lives around the corner. First of all, I'm not exactly allowed to meet her now. Because she's not my family. And she does not live with me. Um, because of the new restrictions. 
And second, she is lactose intolerant, so even if she eats the chocolate, um, it's not a good idea. <laughs> so maybe she, she tells me she would like to have it for her kids, at least a um, chocolate bar that is opened. I just wrapped it back in and put it back in the package and I might be able to get the money back for the other one that is still closed. But definitely not the one that is open. And there's even a chance now with Corona that I will not get my money back because it's a food item for the one that is not open. I don't know. So, yeah. Actually, I paid more, but since it is not for me. And I'm actually a bit mad about myself that I spent so much money. I didn't think it was that much. I thought maybe it's like 20 euros. No, over 30 euros again. This has to stop. I have written down a few things from actually only two grocery stores for next week if I go at all. I don't know. Um, it's actually just, I think it's only produce that I, I've written down. I, I go through the prospects, I write down what's interesting for me and, and that's it. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean I get it. I go and get that stuff. I just remind it for myself. That store has this and this and that, and the other store have, has that. And I can decide to go or not. And yeah, I just hope to get back on track at the end of May. That's a hope. Because uh, I don't see it happen in April anymore. And unless I uh, quarantine myself or just self-isolate myself um, and... and hide from the world outside i don't know could happen could not happen who knows my lungs hurt a little i just hope it is not the virus because i still have an appointment with burger next tuesday by the way this is maxel and this is burger burger is smaller <laughs> maxel is my maxel is my chubby cat He's, he's a chubby chops. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not in the best mood right now because my mom told me that it looks very much like my grandpa is dying. So this afternoon I was full of hopes that he would make it a little longer because he's now at a nursery home where people can take better care of him. But she said she, he's not doing well. He's not doing better at all. So yeah. And his birthday would be in late, late May. And I do not see that coming that he is going to celebrate it. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next video. Bye.